right, let's continue our broadcast live from just outside Peter Merritt's back in the KwaZulu-Natal province. That is whereby our reporter Blaine Herman is. Uh, to be specific, he's at Langalaka High School, uh, Kwama Funzi, just outside Peter Merritt's back, um, as I said, uh, celebrating, of course, or commemorating the Global Menstrual Hygiene Day. Um, you spoke to the MEC earlier on in the show, Blaine. Who do you have with now? Yeah, very good morning to you once again, Paulette. So we have uh, the principal as well as some learners. Uh, remember, Global Hygiene Health Day is being observed on the 28th of May. Uh, that's actually on Sunday. And the date is pretty significant, 28th of May. Now, the May stands for five. May is the fifth month, which is uh, represents five days or the average number of days that a woman or a girl menstruates each month. And 28, well, 28 stands for the number of days that uh, is in a menstrual cycle. So that's the logic behind the date and having it on the 28th of May. And I guess it's, it's events like this that affords us an opportunity to talk about these very salient issues. Now, learners from this school are among the beneficiaries of uh, the province's free sanitary towels uh, program, and we're told it's made a tremendous impact. Let's find out more from the principal of this school. Uh, his name is Musa Kolvel, as well as we're joined by a few learners, Nompilo, as well as Samke. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, principal, may I just start with you? Just give us a sense of Prior to the, the the actual program, how bad was the situation here? Well, good morning, Blaine, and good morning to all your listeners and viewers at home. Uh, it's been a taboo subject for a very long time, but we we are happy that today it's something we can talk about. Mm. Uh, for a very long time, girls have not been free, have not been comfortable. To talk about this so that when those days come in, 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 in a month, girls have been struggling. But nowadays we see that uh, girls are free to, 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 to talk to us and uh, we, the distribution of these sanitary towels by the KZN uh, Department of Education has been very, very, very useful. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it's the main aim, I guess, is to reduce the number of girls that are actually missing school because they simply can't afford it, isn't it? Have you seen that it, at your school where girls are missing school just because they can't afford sanitary products? Yes, in a, in a rural school like ours, where poverty and unemployment is very rife, uh, it has been problematic mm. because uh, if uh, the parents or the guardians or the grandmothers cannot afford, then that would mean that... Uh, girl children and uh, girl learners miss out on a number of school days yeah. and uh, regular school attendance equates to good performance and uh, it's a no-brainer mm. uh, when girls are able to attend school more regularly then their performance will be will be will be raised and you found a change since uh, the program started yes there's a, there's a difference uh, we did some study comparing attendances for last year as well as attendances for this year, the first quarter for both years, and we find that uh, there is a marked uh, improvement yeah. as far as learner attendance is concerned. Samke, let me just bring you in. You a grade 12 learner. You're one of the beneficiaries of this program. How has your life changed since? My life has changed very much because before we didn't have pets, we used to use uh, old rags or tissues which may cause infections. So now, now that we have pets, we are more comfortable and we are confident to walk out on school. Yeah. Were you one of the students that were actually missing school because of this? Yes, I did miss school because my mother is a single parent and she's not working. Yeah. So she, sometimes she doesn't have money to buy me pets. So I got to come here at school and ask from my female, from my female teachers. Yeah. Uh, Nompilo, did you have a similar situation? How's your life changed? Yes, as I'm living with my granny, he, she is too old. Sometimes she even forgets to, to buy me those sanitary pads. Mm. So I have to use old clothes and toilet paper. Sometimes old clothes can cause infection and make the, the blood to get dry so it's, it's, and produce terrible smell. Mm. And also toilet papers, it it's, doesn't last for too long. Yeah. Yeah, so now the life has changed. Sometimes 
when the bleeding is heavy, I have, I, I, I'm forced not to go to school, not to come to school. Mm. Yeah. These are some of the challenges that many uh, girls in South Africa are facing. Do you, as, as peers, talk about some of these challenges amongst yourselves? What sort of advice are you getting? Uh, we've talked about this as, a, as children, but we don't have a solution because we were talking as children. No, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, in terms of menstruation, do you find that the girls amongst uh, your group, uh, they, they have a sound knowledge about their own bodies? Yes, sometimes they have knowledge because we have a subject which is LO teachers. They mm. tell us more about uh, menstruation cycle and also in life sciences. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for your time. I'm afraid we have run out of time, but uh, you got the gist about uh, the current situation and how this free sanitary towel program is actually helping schools like uh, this one here. We're going to talk uh, when we come back uh, about uh, something called a menstrual cup. What is that all about? Well, stick around to find out. Morning Live will be back in a little while. Let's take a bit of a break. Stay tuned.